Hi guys and welcome to another video from AI Sciences. Today we are going to learn how to build a facial recognition system. We are going to get started with you know an introduction to PyTorch and FastAI which is an important library for this purpose and we are also going to do some hands-on practice. If you want to learn more about AI data science, machine learning, please head over to our channel AI Sciences. <laughs> Right, so let's get started. First of all, we're going to start with importing libraries and dependencies. Now, libraries and dependencies are important in the cases where we are using pre-built softwares. We're just going to use some pieces of software that have been written by experts. And we will use it to our own functionality and our own advantage. Then we're going to add the capture image prob uh, capability which is just a function that helps you turn on your camera and take an image right away from Google Collab. We are also going to import some pre-built models that are trained to detect faces. And we're going to look at some results and evaluate them. This problem will be divided into two parts. First, it's the face recognition. First, it's the face detection system. And then it's the face recognition system. The face detection is just the process to detect faces in, a, in an image, right? A model or an AI training piece of software is trained in such a way that it outlines all the faces detected inside an image. These faces belong to humans. The models usually are trained to look at how far eyes, nose and lips are from from each other, right? And we call them features. Facial features are important because they help describe an image and it helps distinguish an image from the rest of the background. So without any further ado, let's get started with coding. All right, so first of all, we are going to import some libraries as I have already done here to save time. And we're going to take this, make this function that is called take photo, right? And the purpose of this function is to capture an image from our webcam, right? This will be already written and given provided to you. And you can just copy paste it over your local machine, local laptops, and you can just run this piece of code. It will be, it will, it will run in, Google Collab environment without any hesitations, right? So uh, that is for the piece of code that I have written. And you can just go ahead and say that image file equals take photo, right? And since this is a function, we are going to just add brackets at the end of it. So when you start this, when you run this cell, what it's going to do, it's going to take and it's going to turn on my camera, right? First of all, when it's the first time, it's going to ask for a, it's going to ask for your permission to start the camera, right? And I'm right there, guys. So you just press this capture button here that we have and you can capture an image. Right? So let me take a better one. With without you know with my face it's that is still in there right so we have the image in this variable here image file right and we can just go ahead and pass this image to our models and it is going to you know help us for our facial recognition facial detection system Right, so we just read our image into this image file variable. We just took this image from this, this camera, right? This my um, laptop camera. And we can move forward and we can say that image equals cvir2.im read, pass it the image file and 
so in cv2 is another library developed by python developers and what it does is it takes the image and it just you know reads it since image can be in many formats it just image uh, it just you know reads the image and it it's we are able to perform different functionalities on it now we i am going to use the i am utils i am u tils this is another functionality that have been developed by experts and we are going to resize our image this this function takes two variables and we are going to pass it the two variables that is image and the size of the image that we will have next we'll take the height and width of this image right and we can say height width equal image dot shape and take the two first two variables first two uh, pieces of information and we're going to print the width and height right and we're also going to say cv2 dot i am show which is going to help us show this image in in our browser in our uh, google collaboratory cell all right so so I, I must have i should have passed image here yep so that is the variable that we'll be using and we have our image and we have its size so it's 400 by 300 right 400 tells us about the width and h is the height of the image now pixels are not the uh, image is nothing but base pixels right next we are going to download these models this uh exclamation mark w get is actually an a function of the linux right now linux gets this model from this url the model is the already pre-trained model this is for face detection and it's going to detect faces inside an image it's going to tell whether the you know this this piece of image is you know different from the background right it's the face of a person or not so we get this we get this piece of uh, you know the this piece of code that has already been written that has already been uh, developed by experts and we say that we we also get this prototext we also get prototext from this uh, deploy dot prototext file and it is going to help us deploy our model our pre-trained model and we're going to give the take this res 10 300 by 300 cafe model and pass it over to our model so now we have our prototext our model and we take the net and we say cv2 dot dnn dot read from cafe and pass it the to text and the model right so uh, read from a uh, cafe model is uh, just a format of storing your model it's like you know you have images in different formats you have images in jpg png different formats of images just like that we have different uh, models that are pre-trained and stored in different formats so cafe is one of them and we are going to let's just copy this line of code here right we just that's the image resize part and we can say we can make blob now blob is converting this image into another format that is blob from image it's going to take the image and convert it into cv2 dot resize it's, it's going to change the image into another form and we just move ahead here set some variables so that the image is more understandable to our model we reset the image size 
to 300 by 300 we set these parameters 1 104.7 these are the you know some uh, pre-built functionality that we have to set according to our cafe model and we run this piece of code all right so there's an extra right so 300 by 300 and one by zero 300 by 300 comma one zero right so this is supposed to be zero here and we have all the yeah so this bracket is extra here i think we just forgot to open some bracket yeah so we have to be careful with them with brackets and all that so that cv2 dot resize and we're gonna pass image here we forgot image image comma yeah right i think it's fine now so we run this yeah it works now we're going to set our net dot set uh, input and we pass it our blob that we just calculated and we say detections equal net dot forward right and this is a functionality that is going to take all the features from the network and help us with different detections so I've already written this piece of code here. What this does is it takes all the detections. Now, since we are inferencing, now inferencing means to get a pre-trained model and get, you know, features out of it at runtime, at, you know, at, at the moment. So we are performing inferencing over here. We pass it some image, some information, and we get the inference out of it, right? So, uh, that was for the image and we can perform over this loop and at the end i would like to yeah so we just print the confidence level here which is 100 percent that it's a face and we can make this rectangle over it so the we, we set the start x start y and we set a rectangle over the face right so uh, that is how you do image facial detection right so since this is part one we are going to do image recognition in another phase in another video and hope you learned something about facial recognition how we can use pre-trained models to perform functionalities and uh, at the end i would like you to you know keep supporting us subscribe our channel and keep sharing our videos and keep learning right so hope to see you in the next video